If you play Corridor as much as I do, you're familiar with the classic openers, like the ones I presented in an earlier video, but sometimes you play against someone who throws the weirdest opener and you simply don't know how to react. In this video, we're going to talk about those openers. I want to give them more visibility to push players to be more explorative in the way they see the game. So without further ado, let's begin with the first one called the Jacob opener. This opener seems counterintuitive as Black is placing a wall in front of him, while usually players gain advantage by placing a wall behind them. But it's putting a lot of pressure on White, who's in an awkward situation if he moves forward like this, for instance. There is no obvious defense move as this play, for example, would be a loss. So White has to be more creative and come up with a different solution, like this one, for instance. The second opener is a White opener and named after a master player called Murat. White is going to go to the cell e5, which is quite unusual because it enables black to jump over and gain an advantage in the depth of the board. But then white has the initiative in the attack, and it's not obvious how black should react. For example, here is a game I played as black and lost, and to this day I'm not sure what I could have done better than this. This third opener is a black opener and gives so much flexibility, I love it. Black can either go left or right and close vertically to have a single path to the objective. For example, in this game, black started to push and then went to the left before securing himself. I was left in an ambiguous situation and I tried to secure my path to the right, but then black played perfectly and, and won the game. So you see that this opener is very versatile for Black, essentially enabling him to control the board and securing a path without much effort. White will be forced to decide quickly where to commit and how to control in response. 